What's going on, guys? It's Troy Dan here. And today, we've got the highest jump in sporting history. The go to the vertical. I always wonder about this. Who has the highest jump ever, okay? I know John Morant in the NBA. He's one of the highest jumpers I've ever seen. I don't know if he's going to be in this list, but I guess maybe high jumpers could probably jump higher than John Morant. Someone check on that. Three, two, one, go. Do I, man? Man? Why are you wasting time doing this? Don't this is Stefan Holm, and what he just did is difficult to believe. What you On March 6th of 2005, this, this, a little bit, sorry. this Swedish athlete accomplished one of the most difficult feats in all of athletics. Jumping over a bar set to 7 feet 10 and 1 half inches, breaking the world record for the highest distance ever jumped compared to an athlete's height. Yo, I need to see this guy in the damn dunk contest. I won't pause again. I this is some next level stuff. And I mean that literally. Yo, this guy put Aaron Gordon With to shame. With an estimated vertical leap of approximately 51.5 inches, this early 2000s jumping legend set the still unbeaten standard for jumping greatness. Wow. And as you can see, the sheer distance that he achieved from the ground was downright daunting. In That's this crazy. video, we'll be taking a deep dive into various sports and we'll break down Whoa, some of the highest jumpers that? in history to see if they can actually outperform Stefan Holm. But for now, Let's just take a moment to appreciate what we just saw. Yeah, because this it. single moment makes Holm far and away the shortest person in history to ever high jump How over 2.40 meters. He's 2.4 meters? For most competitive meters? high jumpers, they almost universally measure in at above 6 feet tall. However, for Holm, who measures in at a modest height of 5 feet 10 inches, he Stop. somehow managed to jump his entire body over this barrier that stood more than Bro, 2 what? feet above his head. This world record of jumping 60 centimeters above his own body is still the world record today. Really? And while his leaping exploits are unquestionably legendary, how exactly would they compare to the leaping giants Dude, in the Dude, get this NBA? guy a basketball is all I'm gonna to say. To be successful in the National Zion! Basketball Association, you'll certainly need a deep arsenal of incredible skills. But the ability to jump Ooh, out of the gym is often a fantastic tool for success. Throughout NBA history, we have seen many athletes with hops so big that they could probably compete oh, for an Olympic that. medal in the high jump. <laughs> From Gerald Green throwing down insane dunks to the 5 foot 7 inch Spud Webb winning the 1985 dunk contest, many professional ballers have changed the status That's quo of the NBA with their amazing abilities to levitate. But despite this super deep roster of incredible jumpers, the man himself, Michael Jordan, still holds the highest yeah. vertical in NBA history with a beastly number of 48 inches. At Does six he? foot six, this vertical leap is astonishing. Unlike any other player before him, his abilities to practically float were unrivaled. And even though he couldn't actually fly, as Whoa. was depicted in the movie Space Jam, the reality of his amazing jumping was still historic. The movie was real. Another NBA legend that reportedly had a vertical jump of 48 inches was the mythical figure himself, Wilt Chamberlain. Now, this guy wasn't just a beast on the court. Yo, that's nuts. As it was also reported. But hold on, I'm going to pause. I've seen people jumping way higher nowadays. Let's just be honest. Triple jump, in the NBA. long jump, high jump, and sprint with the best athletes in the country. But as far as his jumping was concerned, it is clear that he had incredible abilities, especially given that he stood at 7 feet and 1 inch. These two athletes hold the highest vertical numbers in NBA history, and while others have managed to get quite close, both MJ and Wilt stand these. alone. Moving over to the National Football League, and yes, this is American football we'll be talking about, we've also seen some pretty amazing jumpers over the years. But the single highest football jumper in history was Josh and Mator Bebe, who achieved an official jump of 47.1 inches, which was absolutely amazing. The buddy floating! Now, it is also important to mention that? here that this was a standardized vertical test, and unlike the other athletes that we've already discussed, he was able to elevate up to 47 inches with zero run-up. From Holmes' high jump to Jordan's floating. incredible dunks, the momentum created by moving into their jumps is a crucial element to reach such amazing heights. Wow, that's so high. But that for this so athlete, high. no other movements holy were needed. Holy that's high. This 47.1 was incredibly memorable, like as was Stefan Holmes' there. estimated 51.5 inch leap back in 2005. But if you're looking for the one athlete who has jumped higher than any other person in history, we have to go back over 20 years in the past. 
Hailing from France, the jumping legend Cador Ziani what the wasn't originally what? thought of as a leaping legend. Growing up poor as the son of Algerian immigrants, he first fell in love with basketball while watching none other than Michael Jordan, and from the very first moment that he was able to throw down a dunk, his life would change dunked forever. Over a dancing. There was something different about the way Ziani dunked. Just like Spud Webb, he measured in at under six feet tall, but unlike the 86 dunk contest champion, it Dude, seemed like he stayed in the air longer than anyone else before him. From jumping over cars, to hitting a height of 9 feet 9 inches with his feet, even to participating in the high jump with very little training, Ziani sparked a revolution that led to countless iconic jumping moments. But the real question is what exactly was his vertical jump during Never his heard prime? Of this dude. Now there is a lot of speculation out there as to just how what high Ziani could jump, but from the man's mouth during a TV appearance back in the early 2000s, he explained that his highest vertical jump was rule? this. Man, how, how, how high is your vertical leap? How high can you jump? 56 inches. 56 inches? Yeah. 56. That's almost five feet. Hey. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, 56 inches, which is almost too high to believe. But then you see the man actually dunk, and it's difficult to I argue that him. this number is not true. At 5'11", Ziani's abilities as a professional dunker are staggering. Just Jeez. look at how long he stays in the air here. And with an athletic skill set that Dude, reaches far beyond just the basketball courts, Thanks. it does seem to be the case that Kador Ziani Looky has that. the highest vertical jump in history. Thanks for watching, everyone. Is it over? And as always, until next minutes. time. That's crazy, dude. Man, if I could do that, I just do that all the time. I, I, all the time, I just get balls down. I'd like go to different schools and hope they had something stuck. Yeah. They good enough. All right, let's let's see it and hear it for Shador. Tell me, need to get that way. Who would ever think legs that skinny could jump that high? It's all, dude. It's a little bit hard to tell what's going on. Do your thing. Long so you got two dunks long. lined up for it. What are you doing? My trademark. Double windmill. Double windmill. Double. And and then the other one? 360. Oh, 360. Of course. Just 360. 360. 360 <laughs> as we like to say. So go do your thing. Make fun of them, you racist. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess that's impressive. Down. All right, so what else he's got? Dude, the, fr the frame rate's so bad, I can't even see what he just did. I can't even tell. All right, it's over. The highest jump in sport in history. I don't know. I think we need to take all the NBA players. We'll do it this summer. Perfect time to do it. We're not playing. And get them all to, to, to jump as high as they can. Don't they already do that? I swear. I swear there's some in the NBA that can jump higher. And I think his name is John Moran. Guys, if you got a video like me to watch or react to, you can tweet me at Troyden under the hashtag Troyden Reacts. Thank you for watching. And kids, jump higher.